Mike and I both, and including our kids, have done very little world travel. So anytime we're going somewhere, it's pretty, it's pretty assured that we've never been there. Okay. Okay, it's now officially moving day. Everyone's having breakfast, and we are getting ready to go. I, we still have actually quite a bit left to, to do before we can leave, so. So, I gotta psych myself up to push through and finish the process, so we're gonna make this happen. Ready, everyone went for the apple juice. Ah, yes, a lovely day for a drive. I don't know if you can see the rain falling out there, but there you have it. Dad, hey. I need some socks. They're either in here. Yeah, then get them out of there. A little bit crazy. There's stuff everywhere, and I'm overwhelmed. The car is beginning to be packed. a lot of space back there. I don't know if you guys can tell. But you could fit like almost fit a king size bed back there. And dad is having a great day. Sorry, I I always get pretty stressed on moving day. Moving, moving days are very stressful for dad. But um, a good thing that we decided to leave today and not we were gonna leave and then try to make a ferry at 1130, which is insane of us. We're doing the ferry tomorrow staying uh, at a hotel tonight in Dublin or near Dublin so just gotta finish off all the last things okay so we're just about packed and I want to show you what it looks like there we have it you may say that's a ton of stuff and you'd be right but it's also all of the possessions of a family of 11 so I'd say we're doing pretty well um, definitely though, when we leave the van, probably half of that stuff will stay with the van in storage while we travel to other places because we won't take the van, um, you know, when we leave Europe or, or around anywhere close to Europe, anywhere we can drive to. So, how are you feeling now? A little bit better. That's good. Oh, um, don't forget Jude's presents up there. All right. Okay. All right. We'll Jude's fifth birthday is tomorrow. Well, we're leaving most of our Christmas decorations here. Eve, are you so excited to move? Yeah. Carmel's here. Oh, Carmel's here. Hi, Carmel. Hi. So we're saying goodbye to our adorable cottage. Just a minute. And our landlords have been so amazing. Our kids have been at their house. They've just helped us with so many different things and directions and like we borrowed tons of stuff and they've been so kind and warm and gifts and I mean the best gift we could give them would be that some of you decide to come to Ireland and stay in one of their cottages so I'm gonna put a link down below we don't ask for deals a lot of times because of our channel with our housing because we want to be able to be honest about it so we we didn't tell her we had a channel before we we booked this or anything and so when I tell you that it's been amazing I mean it 1000% so go book there, come to Ireland, stay here. It's been the best location. We've been able to go to Northern Ireland, all the way to Dublin, all the way to the Southern bits, parts of Ireland. And this has been the most beautiful, wonderful place to stay. All right, goodbye house. It does actually feel kind of strange. It makes me a little sad. Like this is it. I lived some really good months here. Made some really happy memories. Thankfully, we recorded it all. So even if you don't have a YouTube channel, make sure you're taking pictures and recording your life. Your grandkids will thank you. All right, let's go. Let's go to Dublin. Yay! Yay. Dublin? Yeah, well, we're just going for time. one night. <laughs>
excited to leave as much as I'm sad to leave. And something that's kind of fun is I, Mike and I both, and including our kids, have done very little world travel. So anytime we're going somewhere, it's pretty, it's pretty assured that we've never been there. So like, it's pretty fun that the world is open to us and all of his new experiences. So still not telling you where we're going, except you, I, a lot of you are guessing. Only a few of you have made a correct guess, even though I'm pretty sure I said it somewhere in a video. Um, we have changed our mind several times though, so maybe that's what's throwing you off the scent. But um, I'm going to give you some more clues. One, yes, we're going to be wearing sweaters there. Two, yes, we're taking a ferry there. Three, uh, both Mike and I have a lot of ancestors from there. Four, um... Wait, how do they not know? I don't know. I've said it on my channel. I know. Mike just said it on his channel like 50 million times. Um, let's see. What will be our last clue? Um, five. <laughs> amazing our last four. Five. No. Um, That's my last clue. Five. Um, Americans have a long shared history. I'm totally gonna give it away by saying that, but um, we're not gonna need a translator. I just gave it away. That's where we're going. Okay, we're stopping for lunch. It's rainy, cold. Going into a burrito place because if there's a Mexican place around, we're gonna eat there because there's just not that many. So I'm not gonna take it in though. Just got an email. Dad does not know this yet. What? Dear customer, Irish Ferries regrets to advise you that the 845 Express Dublin Fast Ferry sailing has been canceled due to adverse weather conditions on the Irish Sea. You can be accommodated on the 230 Dublin cruise ferry sailing instead. Latest check in 1230 hours. If you're not happy to sail on our cruise ferry, there's no need to contact us. If not, what? please con so if you're happy to. So we can just go without having to. Dang it. All right, well, I guess we get to sleep in tomorrow and hang around Dublin. Hmm. That, if that's the weather's true. any good. It apparently won't be great though since they're not Well, sailing. the latest check-in is 12.30, so you won't have very long. The latest check-in is 12.30? Yeah, because yeah, it's a 2.30 sailing. Oh. You have to be checked in by 12.30. I thought that... Oh, okay. Or it's just said, latest check-in is 12.30. Yeah. Oh, I thought... Okay. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Going a little bit later. We're here. Yeah. What, um, what's what's We're at the hotel. Oh, yeah. Dude, are you excited about the hotel? Yeah! So Mike is inside and we're all just anxiously and not very patiently waiting. Oh. I mean, we in. could just get our stuff up from well, the back. Where do we want to go? Yes, I, I don't want to open that back though. It's like opening a messy closet. <laughs> messy closet? I, I, I want to let Dad down. direct that. That is not my strong suit, is knowing inside. how to get the bags no. in, which bags. And oh, right. I don't even remember what bag we packed in, so I'm going to let Dad <laughs> Hold on, I have more stuff in the car. Mommy, what are you doing? Is this the hotel? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, you can't eat your leftovers right now. Mm. Oh. This is at mom. This is our hotel. Mom, how long we will stay here? Okay. Yeah. You're in your hotel room. Do you love it? Yes. Yeah. Let's see Mom. if we can find something on the TV. Mom. What? No. Superman. Okay. Look, here he's at the door. 
This is a great movie. Superman. Uh, is that oh, English? Just left. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, um, it's dinner time. We actually are going to go over to Cleano's family again with, here in Dublin, which is super nice of them to have us again. And um, but we're not going to bring them along the camera. We're going to let them have a break, and um, then we'll come back and hit the sack. So we'll see you on the other side. All right. Well, we had dinner over at Cleano's house and her family's, and that was really good and yummy. We appreciate them inviting us over and being able to visit with them. And now we're back at the hotel and we are gonna call it a day. So hope you're having a good day and thanks for coming along with us. We're excited to get on the ferry tomorrow and head over, making more progress toward our new destination. Remember to like and subscribe and comment if you want to. And also go to norpensouth.com for more information about the family. And we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.